Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we will learn how to write C program to print multiplication table of a given number. Let's take for example, we get the input as 7 and we want to print the multiplication table like 717, 7214 and so on up to 710s or 720s, whatever it is, right? So let's get started and for this, you can use any editor of your choice. So either you can use Turbo C editor or Turbo C++ editor or you can download and use Dev C++ editor or you can also use Visual Studio Community Edition which is free from Microsoft or any other editor that you're already working on you can use that. And with that let's get started and I'm going to use Visual Studio Community Edition which is free from Microsoft and let's get started. File New Project so in Visual Studio, we have to create a C program project like this. So file new project, I'm going to select, select Visual C++ Win32 console application and I'm going to give the name of this as C programs. And I'm going to, I'm going to save in the folder as C projects and I'm going to give the name of this as multiplication table. Okay, now let's click on okay. And I'm going to click on this next and so I selected the current project setting as console application and I clicked on next and I don't want to pre-compile or this both, I'm unchecking this, I'm selecting console application, click on finish. That's it, we're all set. If you're using any other editor, so you can straight away start with the code that I'm going to explain now, right? So let's get started. It's creating the project and click on finish. Now you will see some code already which is there. I'm going to delete this and then let's write the code now. So I'm going to write the C language code for printing multiplication table and let's get started. The first step you need to write is include stdio.h so that's the header file because we are going to use printf and scanf and also I'm going to put include conivo.h because I'm going to give get ch etc and void main is a method is a place where program execution starts and some compilers you might have to give int main and return zero at the end right now the first step is which I always prefer to write is so always write this author and always make it a habit of writing this author and purpose. So to read a number, to read a number and print multiplication table. And now let's get started. The first thing is, so the first step which you have to do is now variable declaration. So variable declaration. So let's put this, let, let's put this comments above this and then let's write this here. Okay, so first thing is, first step that you had to do is variable declaration. And then, so we need to uh, print multiplication table. So we need to put in input. So we need to read the value from the user. And we need a, we need a variable to loop. So we need i value. Now let's get started. Now first we declare the variables, we are done with variable declaration and the next step is to read the data from the user. Read the data from user. So now what we have to do is printf and we are going to put enter any number. So this is used to print the text on the screen and then we, ha we have to write scanf percent d for integer and I'm going to put ampersand input. After this what we have to do is we need to write the logic. So now what we have to do is, so if you have a look at the requirement once again, let's see this now. So I'm going to show the requirement once again. So you can see here, first we are taking a value n and here it remains common. So basically you have to use a for loop from one, two, three, four, five. So you have to loop through from one to whatever table you want to print like till 10, till 20, whatever number you want to print like, you have to loop from one to 10. And the first value is n into, this is the looping number which is i, is equal to n into i. 
n into i. So let's see the program now. The first step what we have to do is for i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to let's take i 1 till 10. 7 tens are so i plus plus and then I have to write here so we don't need a flower brackets if we need only one line so printf so now let's go back the first thing that we need to print is here person d which is common into person d is equal to person d now this is how we want to print 10 rows so 10 times we want to print in case of first person d we want to print the input right so if you check out the requirement once again so let's go back to the requirement so here you need input into this is the looping number which is i one two three four five and this is the product of input and the i now let's say this now so in the first place i want input and in the second place i want uh, i want the number i in the third place i want input star i value so that will multiply and print and the last we need to write get ch and just to read the val just to ensure that the cursor will wait for printing the output now we are done so we are done with the logic and let's try to execute this and let's check if it works so let me execute this and now you can see here it's asking to enter any number and I'm going to enter 7 and you can see in the same line because I have not used slash n so let's put slash n here before the line so I'm going to put slash in here or you can put here as well so I'm going to put slash n before this let me put slash in for new line and let's run this once again now let's see the output now I'm going to enter the number 7 and you can see here up to 10 we are getting the multiplication table and if you want up to 20 you can change this for up to 20 so that's it we are done with the first program to print multiplication table of a given number and I'm going to copy this and and I will be pasting this I'm preparing a document and if you need this document feel free to send a mail I will be sending it for you right so in the next program we will in the next video we'll see another program thanks for watching keep practicing and don't forget to subscribe for more videos thank you